Hello guys, today let's talk about exporting and importing with Excel with three different ways. Two with packages and one without packages just using an array. Let's compare the performance, at least in my testing, and let's see which package performs better. So I've compared two well-known packages. Probably the most popular one by far is Laravel Excel. And then there's another by company Spati called Simple Excel. And Simple Excel main selling point and main probably feature behind the scenes PHP generators are used to ensure low memory usage even with large files and this is probably one of the most typical questions I get about Excel import export how to do that with large files so let's try it out I've asked my colleague Nerius to create a demo project and by the way the source of that demo project will be public so you can add your own comments your own pull requests your own suggestions you can measure the same things as i will do in this video so i invite you to contribute maybe you'll have different conclusions maybe our code is not the best written be active in the comments and on github the link will be in the description below the link to the repository now first let's try to export the data and in the database i have 100,000 users and we will export that in three ways in composer json i have both Laravel Excel and Spati Excel and in the export controller we have three methods with array we just fill in the CSV file and by the way we'll be working with the CSV not the XLSX files so we're chunking the users and just putting the data into the CSV and then download it so that's array without any package then with Excel it's probably the simplest in terms of syntax you just download you create users export, you query the users, that's it. So that's the beauty of this package, but let's see how it performs. And then Spati, it's pretty similar to the array. We just pass that array to the simple Excel writer. Let's see how they all perform. And to measure that, I've installed Laravel Telescope and we'll see the requests time and memory usage. So I click export using array. Okay, download successful. I will show you telescope in a minute. Then export using Laravel Excel. Took much longer, but we'll see the time in a minute. I'm just cutting this video so you wouldn't wait with me. And then with Spati. It took a few seconds or a bit more. So let's see the telescope. we we'll see three requests. Oh, it wasn't a few seconds. It was seven seconds. Anyway, with array and with Spati with the array, it is pretty similar but Laravel Excel is much slower. Now, what if we compare the memory usage? Telescope doesn't show that in the table, so we need to go to each of them, and memory usage is eight megabytes for the array, and then for the export Excel, whoa, it's 158 megabytes. That's pretty huge. And then export Spicy is 56 megabytes. So if you count the memory usage, probably doing that without any package, is both the fastest and with lowest memory usage. And regarding Laravel Excel, I find multiple issues on their GitHub about memory, specifically about exporting. And it seems that this issue wasn't properly solved. Maybe I'm missing something, then shoot in the comments below if you know something that I don't. But in some cases, it's extending even the memory that is allowed. Of course, it's not a lot of memory, it's 128 megabytes. So it is exhausted, but imagine if 10 people at the same time perform the Excel export, imagine what happens with the RAM memory of your server. So looking at these issues, I probably wouldn't recommend Laravel Excel for exporting bigger files. Again, if you know the solution, comment here on YouTube or make a pull request to the repository, which is public again. Now, importing. So again, I will import with three packages, the same CSV file. An import controller looks like this. So with array, we're getting the CSV and array map is the function. And the goal here is to show the amount of rows. So it's not imported to the database. It's processing the CSV file and making some calculations. In this case, the most popular names. So this is how it's done in array. Just dumping the data of 10, the most popular names. And then with Excel, with Laravel Excel, we're using users import and then doing the same array operation. And then with Spati, this code is much more Laravel-ish way. So we create the reader, 
then get rows and then use collections to do it all. So it's kind of comparing apples to oranges a little bit, but let's see how they perform. So we're importing without any package. It's 5.2 megabytes CSV file and it was pretty quick. So this is the result of 10 most popular names. We're doing the same thing with Laravel Excel. In this case, I didn't make even a pause in this video. But now for importing, I feel like I will need to cut this video until it's actually processed. Yep, I've cut this video. It took roughly 20 to 30 seconds if I'm calculating correctly, but we will take a look at Telescope in a minute. And then Spotty Simple Excel, same file, import. It was pretty quick. Now, Telescope, three requests and it was 40 seconds, wow. So yeah, with Array it was half a second, with Spati it was still quick, 1.8, but four times slower compared to the Array, and then Laravel Excel is a terrible result. I'm not sure, again, maybe I'm missing something here. Maybe I'm doing the import the wrong way, but this is how it is advised in their documentation, at least the most typical scenario. Let's take a look at the memory usage. Array, 76 megabytes, which is already a lot actually. Laravel Excel, 192 as expected more than without package and then spotty oh this is a pleasant surprise so for importing the memory usage of spotty package is much lower although the duration of the request according to the telescope is bigger but maybe you care more about memory usage it's always playing around with server resources and choosing the best option for you but two megabytes of ram is pretty impressive so what do you think? Are my measurements correct? It feels that I'm missing something and you can of course contribute to the videos because more and more often I feel like we're creating content together often and the group of people, the group of you guys who are actively commenting and teaching others is getting bigger. So I really like to read the comments, reply to them and pin the comments if it's really, really important for others to read in the future. And of course, subscribe to the channel to get new videos and see you guys in those other videos.